Great. What's your question, mate? Um, so my question is, um, so you've been in business for a long time. Um, how has the way that you do business changed since you've become a Christian? So you you were in business before being a Christian as well, weren't you? Yeah, that's a very good question, Chris. Um, there are some really big changes. Yeah, so I was, I was in business before. I was a believer. Like you said, I came to Christ 23rd of September 2004. Um, so if I can be honest with you, Chris, before I was a believer, I literally thought the role of business for me was to give me everything I wanted, right? Um, it was to fulfill every desire I had. So if I wanted a bigger house, build a bigger business. If I wanted more cars, build a bigger business. If I wanted to go on, like, like literally, I thought it was all about me. Uh, when I came to Christ, I were, you know, I'm one of those people all in or all out. So I started reading scripture a lot from an early stage. And and was reading about business and commerce and, and, and economy and things like that. And, um, and I realized as soon as I started reading scripture that the world around me was nothing like the world that God had suggested we build. Right? So when you read the early scriptures, God kind of gives us a blueprint on how to create a society and a culture that helps everybody. And we don't have anything like that now. So what, what I realized over time was business does have a role in the kingdom of God. And it's to be the funding model and it's to have influence and it's to shape culture. And that wasn't what I thought business was for. So pre-saved, like I, you know, and, and, and I wasn't unique in thinking this, like the societal hypnosis that most people are under is, 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 is selfish desire, you know, self-interest, greed, those sort of things. As I read scripture, I read that it's actually all about other people. And so, you know, if I take the teachings of Jesus down to one sentence, it's simply this preferring others over ourselves. So we've got to take the concept of preferring others over ourselves and take it into the business world. So I need to build a business that is profitable so that I can fund projects that prefer other people over myself. I'll go without the luxuries so that I can fund something that helps some other people. Okay, That's the biggest change for me in my world. Now, interestingly, huh, here's the beauty of it, right? You would think if you applied carnal knowledge that if I don't get the next upgraded car and I give the money away, I missed out. But what actually happens is when you, when you do a transaction like that, you, you, you sacrifice something to help others, you actually end up enlisting heaven to help you build what you've got. And you don't miss out at all. Because heaven backs you. When, when you're doing God's will, God's way on earth, you actually don't miss out. It, it may not look exactly the same, but it's the most rewarding, fulfilling um, life that you can have. So that's the biggest change for me. It went from a, you know, building businesses for myself to building businesses for others and the kingdom. And, and I think when that change takes place in our head, it actually takes a lot of pressure off because we're now collaborating with the king of the world and not having to do it all in our own strength.